Hurricane season creates a lot of questions. Once a storm has formed, the biggest question is, of course, where will it go? Meteorologist Melissa Constanzer shows us the science behind the tracking process. On any day, the weather can be hard to predict. But hurricanes throw a curve into the mix, literally. Just look at the track of Hurricane Katrina. After making it to the central gulf, it curved north to Louisiana, Mississippi. A few months later, Hurricane Wilma took a sharp right turn off the Yucatan towards southern Florida. Years later, Hurricane Sandy hooked left into North Jersey. For as powerful as these storms are, other weather factors actually steer the storm. In fact, a hurricane's a lot like this top. As I spin it and then blow on it, it moves with the wind. As they move north out of the tropics, hurricanes encounter a west wind. This steers many storms, but it is not the only factor. Strong highs or areas of high pressure act as domes that block the hurricane's path. Just two days before Hurricane Wilma made its way into southern Florida, a high pressure system, sinking air, was over us and the rest of the northern Gulf. This blocked Wilma's path and forced it over southern Florida. And remember, I told you about Hurricane Sandy turning into the east coast? Well, Sandy rode up along the coast. A high pressure system off the coast of Maine blocked its path from going into the Atlantic. So the next time a hurricane moves out of the tropics, it's other weather that will steer its track. Meteorologist Melissa Constanzer, News 5.